After the meta, meta earnings debacle, Warren Buffett may have the last laugh. Berkshire Hathaway now has a bigger market cap than Meta, which saw its cap plummet by more than $200 billion overnight. Our next guest, though, says he isn't surprised. Let's bring in Jonathan Boyer, Principal at Portfolio Manager at Boyer Asset Management. Jonathan, thank you so much. You say it's about time. Yeah, no, first, thank you for having me. And yeah, it's 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 about time. I mean, I put this in a very simple matter. What What if I gave you the choice of you can either have Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp, or you can own Geico, Burlington Northern, Santa Fe, Precision Cast Parts, Bench and Moore, a huge uh, investment portfolio, and other extremely valuable businesses. I mean, to me, it's a no-brainer that Berkshire has a higher market cap. And the only thing that's crazier is Tesla currently has a higher market cap than Berkshire. And so you say that you actually like the value plays and that they will provide the best return on investment over, you know, larger major indices. So I know there are a couple of names that you've been looking at, and one of them is Scott's Miracle Grow. Why do you like that name? Yeah, Scott's Miracle Grow is a great business. Uh, we love looking at great consumer franchises, especially during inflationary environments. Uh, Scott's is a business that was. Uh, $250 uh, in, in April this year. It's now down to about $138 or so. It's been a huge pandemic beneficiary. They've gotten uh, about 20 million new customers and 86% uh, of them you know, intend to stay. They also have a growing cannabis business and it's probably the best way to play cannabis uh, uh, now. They have a division called Hawthorne. And right now you're at these current levels, you're buying the consumer business and getting the fast growing cannabis business that grew over 100% for the past two years, over the past two years for free. And then the other name that you like is Madison Square Garden Sports. So we just did a story on New York State and its sports betting taking off like, you know, <laughs> and like nothing, $1.6 billion um, just in the month of January with much more to come. Yeah, Madison Square Garden is an unbelievably undervalued uh, property, sports. You own the Knicks, you own the Rangers. Uh, right now, it's selling for about $170 a share. We think it's worth north of $300. Essentially, at current levels, you're buying the Knicks and getting the Rangers uh, at zero cost, which were just valued by Forbes at over, uh, I think, roughly $2 billion or, or so. Uh, and there's a catalyst, which is critically important to us. We uh, think that the Dolans could potentially sell the teams or uh, private equity could buy a minority stake in some of the teams, which would help highlight value. And then, you know, many investors have gotten burned, right? Uh investing in big tech and then in the meme stocks as well in crypto. Do you think some of those investors walk away completely from the markets at this point because it's just too volatile, like happened in the dot com in the dot com bubble? Yeah, I think time will tell. I mean, when you lose 50 percent or more of your value in, in, a, in a variety of stocks very quickly, that's that's scarring for investors psyche. And uh, it'll be interesting to see like what happened in uh, after the dot-com bubble burst. There was a whole generation, so to speak, of investors who left for quite some time. And, uh, you know, what's going to happen to them who, who took all the, who bought all of the meme stocks, et cetera, um, whose value are probably never coming back. And Jonathan, tell me some of your other picks. Got about, about a minute left. Um, you have a list of the 40 best equity ideas, forgotten 40 stock picks, you call them. What are some of those picks? Yeah, well, to, uh, the forgotten 40 are our 40 best ideas for the year ahead that have catalysts. You know, we have a wide variety of names. Scott's and Madison Square Garden are on that list. Other names that are, uh, are interesting to us are Uber, Callaway Golf, um, Bank of America, Disney. So there's a whole variety of names uh, that we think have catalysts that will make them beat the market over the year ahead. I think this is the type of year where the indices shouldn't do very much, won't do very much, and the real money will be made in stocks that are either outside of the indices or have low weightings in them. And then real quick, do you stay away from big tech completely? I think I would be very cautious with, with big tech. I, I mean, I take a stock by stock uh, 
uh, opinion on each one. It depends on valuation. Um, so um, you have to really look at look at everything, um, you know, on an individualized basis. But you know, I don't think the stocks that did well for the past five or ten years are the ones that are going to lead going forward. Okay, we will leave it there. Jonathan Boyer, Principal and Portfolio Manager at Boyer Asset Management. Thanks for stopping by today.